Sweet. 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 All right, folks. This camera holder is working out fantastic. So now I'm going to do the part two of this workbench. Give you a little bit more detail on this baby. I'm telling you, it's a masterpiece. Let me go back here with the lights on. Go. Oh, Christ almighty. Excuse me. I went ahead to open the garage door. You see that workbench right there? And I want to tell you, son of a bitch has got some lumber stacked on it. I anchored it to a stud. See, before, you know, it's solid here. I don't want to mash on it too much because it got some noise and shit. But I want to tell you, I scabbed it together with some two pieces of, you know, the particle board, this other worthless board. Uh, but the two poles here, of course, are duct taped. And if I had to do real hard, I set the sledgehammer up on it for a tiny anvil. But I'm telling you right now, with so many feet on the ground, this motherfucker is solid. And I'm telling you right now, that's a setup now. My miter saw, I got that for a buck. I mean, that's what you gotta do. What you gotta do, the drill, you can't go wrong. You have to have your drill there. And this shelf, it also is so solidly anchored. This, of course, here, this union is anchored through the bottom, locked in by a stud. This was screwed down onto it like a lag bolt. Then it cut pre cut to the proper position. Then I simply took like a three and a half inch, nice tight grip, and, and just held it there. Hell, it's not even, <clears throat> this is just straight in to hold it flat down on its connected beam back here, which is cut, I caught three studs. And sunk some screws in the wall it's so strong you know you don't want to set a motor block or nothing on there but that's a setup i run me a separate cord out here you know through here under there you know this is like my bedroom out here in the city slickers i got my oh my air tank that's that son of a bitch i leave on all the time you know my brother he's uh nervous nelly and stuff you know it goes off it's like the fucking atom bomb drop I got a, I got a note for that. See there. Turn off the air compressor. But hell, I forget anyhow. <clears throat> First, I don't know if it's on or not now. So, if it blares off, excuse me. But his old box is right here. Not old box, but it's a nice box. Gear and paraphernalia. Got the board, some of them hooks, all yard sale stuff. You know, this was like a clean slate, man. Like I said, look at the look at the garage now. Christ, see this hat rack? I took the other part of this board. It was a bed rail. Gives it extra strength down here. So I hit up some studs. Man, you can't get wrong. Remember my barber's Harley? Whew, some bitch could ride a two-wheeler. Now anyhow, <clears throat> studded it all in. All, uh, all them other more hooks out of that yard still find. Christ, I got, this is great, though, you know, this, like I said, my bedroom, my brother got a carcass car in here, though, that's good, though, them ladders, uh, hey, like I said, it's dry, there's coated bear, I wonder if I can zoom in sideways, I'll be damn, there's my pops, Madison, you made me that sign up in there, there's that fly swatter I made today, up again the wall there, <clears throat> yeah, so, but this here, like I said, it holds some weight. Excuse me, I got a little sidetracked there. You know, my suck it set. I don't know what the story is on that. Oh, that teddy bear, I'm going to tell you. That comes a little bit later on on the survival thing I got going on. And then, uh, that's it. Radio sitting over here. Whoa, excuse me. Hey, you see what I mean? But the kids, they just think I come in. What's this pile of shit in here? You know what I mean? That's just like, I come in, there'll be like popsicle wrappers and shit in here. And you know, kids, I tell you, they keep you going. Got a little, working on this here gear bag. Some, I got some survival stuff coming up. Ooh, excuse me, it must have been a sweat rag or something. But this bench, oh, and this is a huge part too. You know, this is my personal stuff in here. <clears throat> it, of course, I got a lock for it. This is that maple I worked on the other day. Look at that. 
this to that. Look at the shine on it. Anyhow, see, I got sidetracked right there. But this is the nice thing. This goes back. I got some lumber. I tore them, sla them uh, sla uh, skids apart. And of course, I got an extra box. All kind of room under here. Some general tools, too dark to see. And that's it, man. Oh, I got some. Well, let me show you the, you know, the back 40. Chemicals. My brother is a professional painter, so these, those chemicals come in handy for sure. Try to keep them far away from the house, you know, the fire and whatnot. All right, that's the workbench right there, folks. I'll be getting back to you. <clears throat>